Hello my dear friends, you are on the military summary channel and today we will discuss the situation in Ukraine on the 22nd of April. Today we got a lot of very interesting news, so let's discuss them one by one. And today we will start from this area. This is Orekhov, Guliapolia, Velika Novosilovka front line. As far as you can see, if you take a look at this map, we see that this area was under very heavy bombing, artillery bombing. Russians, they chose very interesting tactic in this area. Russian sources said that there are a very big amount of prisoners of war there. And of course, Russian investigators, they're asking them a lot of questions. And Russians, during these days, they found out that in this area there are almost no Ukrainian forces there here. Russian sources said that in this area we can find only the territory defense forces. And as far as you know, these guys they are not professional. Ukrainian professional army is on the north. And here we can find just the regular people who have guns. And these people, they are sitting in these small towns. If we zoom this area, you'll see that there are almost, there are no big towns here. We can see that there is just a big field, rivers and fields, and that's it. There are very small towns. The, big, the biggest towns in this area is Guliaipolia, Velika Novosilka and Orekhov. And this is the area where Ukrainians established their fortified area. Very powerful fortified territory. So the Russian tactics is as follow. They are bombing these small towns. They don't need to bomb these towns very much. And after they do this, they send there their forces. And according to Russian sources, they said that people there, they are not even protecting this territory. After bombing, after heavy artillery bombing, they are just or dropping their weapon and run away, or during this bombing they were killed. So there is no problem for Russians to move forward in this area. So that's why they're bombing this area and taking towns by towns. Tell the truth, I'm not sure what Ukrainians are planning to do with this. Because, as you can see, Russians are moving to the north of this area. And of course, the main idea, if it's possible, of course, to surround town named Gulaipolia. So I repeat myself, according to Russian sources said, that there is no Ukrainian forces, professional Ukrainian army here. That here there is only there are only territory defense here, and it's totally unprofessional guys. Some news are coming from Popasne. Russian and Ukrainians they are still fighting here. So we can say that both parties in this area stands on their positions. Now we are moving to Lysychansk agglomeration. This area is under heavy bombing. And I understand that this time is the best time to bomb and attack this territory. Because we know that when some army is planning to move from regroup from one area to another, it's the best time for another army to attack them, to bomb them. And as far as you can see, Russians, they are using these tactics here. Because we know that Ukrainians, they are regrouping in this area. They are planning to move from Rubizhnoye and Severodonetsk to another part, to another side of Seversky Donetsk river. And Russians, they are started actively bombing this area. Now we are moving to Liman area, Liman territory. Uh, a few videos ago I told you that Ukrainian forces they bombed and blew this bridge. This situation slowed Russian speed 
of course now Russians they are here they are trying to cross this bridge they are trying to find a solution how to get there also today Russians started bomb Liman it's kind of a preparation before big storm operation in this area now we are moving to Izum area Russians they tried to push forward in every direction they were trying to attack town Zavadi they were trying to t attack town Vernipoli and town Dibrivnia in this area Russians they are using another tactic because of that fact that there are a lot of Ukrainian forces here and sometimes you don't know where are they so that's why Russians they are using recognition in combat so they are moving forward then they meet enemy and after that they are retreating on their position and they, then they start bombing this area they send here their helicopters, airplanes and so on also today we got very interesting and we can say a little bit funny news from this area Russian sources said that Ukrainian forces attempted to attack the territory of Russian Federation Russian sources said that Ukrainians they prepared the convoy this convoy included six tanks around maybe plus minus one tank few big buses with troops and few armored vehicles and with this army they were planning to attack this territory and if it's possible of case of course they were planning to cross the border it was something in the morning but in noon at noon we got information that Russian forces they attacked this convoy destroyed few vehicles and tanks and the Ukrainian forces were forced to move back also yesterday in the evening after I made my video I got information that Russian forces bombed another town another bridges in Dnipro and in this area so as far as you can see they're trying to cut off supply and support from west part of Ukraine and they're trying to split this territory in two parts and we can say that that's all news about the front line but there was another very important f news from the Russian military authorities today one of the head of Russian military command said told told us about their new plans regarding Ukraine if you remember Russians they changed their plans at least two times twice and today they gave us new plan we can say that it's almost the same plan as the second one and if you remember the second plan was about just to clear, clear this territory to clear Donbass and to push Ukrainian forces from this area to to the northwest of Ukraine but today Russian authority military military authorities they said that Russians plans was to push Ukrainian forces from this area of course and to establish connection between Russian Federation and Crimea and a little bit later an hour later they clarified this plan and they told that they are planning to capture entire south of Ukraine and they also want to establish connection between Russian Federation and this area this is Moldavia and this is Pridnistrovia Pridnistrovia is the same thing in Moldova Moldova is this is the entire country the whole country Moldova and um, Pridnistrovia in Moldova is the same thing as uh, Donetsk and Lugansk in Ukraine and Russian forces they have their bases here so according to the updated plan they are planning to establish connection between Russian Federation crime and Pridnistrovia that's mean that 
if they want to establish connection with uh, Pridnistrovia, that means that they need to capture this territory. So let's mark it. So according to the new plan, Russian plan, new Russian plan, they are planning to take at least this territory. As I told in my previous video, that this war won't end till Russians take Odessa. So this is the new territory Russians want to take according to the new plan. Now let's discuss about the connection between crime and Russia. And if we take a look at this map, at this map, we can say that there is already a connection between crime and Russian Federation. So what exactly do they need? Of course, there is a connection, but there is no railroad connection. And of course, Russians they need to establish this connection. And mainly, they need to establish railroad connection from Odessa to the territory of the Russian Federation. So, if we take a look at this map, we can say that the most important part is this road, railroad, this one. If Russians will be able, if Russians are able to take this road. That means that they completed their task. So, this one. They need just this road. Of course, uh, they need to protect this territory. And Ukrainian forces, the most powerful weapon, the most uh, powerful weapon Ukrainians have is Tochko U rocket. And we know that the distance uh, these rockets can fly is 120 kilometers. So, of course, they need to protect this connection. So, that's why they need at least push Ukrainian forces for 120 kilometers to the west. That's it. So, it will establish a safe connection between Russia for their cargo, for everything, and from the every side. So, we can say that to complete their mission successful they need to take territory something like this that's mean that according to new russian plan this is the territory they are planning to take this is the donbas and this is the adjacent region and as far as I know, the US intelligence and the British intelligence, they were saying, they told us that in this area there are a lot of Russian forces here. And there are so much forces here, so they are really able to take this territory. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel and enjoy your weekend. Also, I would like to express my special gratitude to Mark, who helps me with my English. After each video, he sends me a list of my mistakes by mail, which I am trying to gradually correct. Bye-bye.